What's the difference between an ecchymosis and a hematoma? Ecchymosis is essentially a bruise. It occurs when blood leaks from a small vessel, like a capillary beneath the skin, and it leads to discoloration. It typically presents as a purplish or bluish patch on the skin. As the blood breaks down, the color of the bruise may change. Bruising is a common and expected side effect of dermal filler injections. While a bruise might look concerning, it's generally harmless and tends to resolve on its own within a few days to a couple of weeks. It's helpful to apply local compression following injection to reduce the risk of bruising. And applying cold packs within the first 48 hours, followed by heat, can help speed up the healing process. Topical application of Arnica, vitamin K8, or bromelain can help reduce bruising and may also increase the speed of resolution. Bromelain is an enzyme derived from pineapple that can be taken at a dose of 200 to 400 milligrams three times a day to speed healing and help the body clear metabolic waste following an injury. As part of any informed consent, patients should be prepared for bruising, which in some cases might be difficult to camouflage and could impact a patient's social activities. Unlike ecchymosis, hematomas are a collection of blood that forms a localized swelling or lump under the skin. These occur when larger blood vessels are damaged during the injection process, leading to significant bleeding within the tissue. Fortunately, hematomas rarely occur following non-surgical aesthetic procedures. Hematomas can be larger and more painful than ecchymoses. And finally, any patient who experiences bruising or a hematoma that fails to resolve over time or worsens should be referred to his or her general practitioner to rule out any underlying medical condition that could be contributing to the problem.